Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. Today is my first update in the Go Go for the Goal Project Pan. This is being hosted by the Pantastic Ladies. I will have their link down below as well as um, the Creators link and all of those who are participating in this project. Now, I started this late because I didn't think I was going to do it, and then I decided I would do it because I have goals. I have lots of goals, and in fact, I want to um, really kind of push myself this year in um, reaching goals that in reaching goals that I wouldn't usually push myself in um, trying to reach. So um, that is why I went with this. I have six goals and I will maintain that number of six. And at each update, if I have finished anything, then I will bring in something new. I have some short-term goals things I can finish quickly and then I have things that will take more time to complete so I consider those my long-term goals but hopefully they don't take all year because I really um, really just want to hit my goal on those things and move them out so let's go over the items that I brought in um, at the beginning of this project. I have completed two. I still have four that are actively going. So let's talk about the two that I did complete in the last month. Okay, my first goal was to finish an eyeshadow that I had hit pan on. I wanted to completely finish up that eyeshadow, and I did. It was, let's see here, row three, pan one. So it is this one. It was this one right here. I did finish it on February 2nd. So that is good. That, that makes this the third pan I've completed in this palette and the third pan I've completed on any eyeshadow. So I, um, I love this palette, but I am excited to have that done. It was in, I want to say the Christmas, I don't know, it was in one of those projects last year and I just wanted to finish it up. So that is done and I am glad it is done even though I really liked it. Then the other one that I have completed it is my Nail Aid Keratin 3 Day Growth um, Nail Strengthener I guess you could call it. I finished this on February 4th. I didn't have a whole lot left. That was where I was. And in fact, I was getting to the point I was having to pour it out in order to get any product out of here. I do like this. I can see me repurchasing this. I just need to use up all the other nail um, strengtheners that I have in my collection, and then I will repurchase this. I bought this when my nails split um, vertically, and I needed something that would basically, you know, be super glue, but not super glue. And so this worked out great, and it really is good, and it's a great price. But this bottle is done, and it's out of my collection. So those are the two that I have finished. The other four that I have, my the first one is my St. Ives cleansing stick. I love this cleansing stick. And 
I have been using the heck out of this and I marked it it was about I don't know and a couple of inches that I marked it and anyways you can see where I marked it and that's what I have left to go I think by next update maybe I mean it doesn't take a whole lot of this um, when you're washing your face but it's so it's so nice but I want to use it to that point and then move it out because I do have other cleansers that I'm working on but I wanted to um, you know get some use on this because well I I really like it and so I wanted to use it and that way this gave me an opportunity to use it but then go back to my other cleansers as well this next item I knew I wouldn't have it done this month but I thought I would be further along in my progress and I'm so bummed that I'm not but you know if I really put my mind to it I can finish it up in the next month um, but it really hasn't been a huge focus and that's my BH Cosmetics gel um, eyeliner and it's in a pot and I brought it in because I wanted to start you start using it before it dried out completely and in fact I had to kind of kind of break the crust if you will that sounds gross but to get down to the creamy um, gel part down there so I am making movement I have used it six times I am ticking it off on my lid here and my goal is to use it 30 times and I do have it on today but it is covered by um, an, an, an eyeshadow eyeliner eyeshadow that I use as an eyeliner so um, I I think I might be using that as this just to get my eyeshadow to stick better because I have started using um, my eyeshadow as eyeliners in my my palette that I am panning just to get movement on some of those shades that um, I don't know what else to do with. So this has been six times. Hopefully I can get the rest of them, the how many? 30, I'm terrible at math. So 20, that would be 25, 24 more uses left. Hopefully I will get those done by the end of next month. That is my goal. So those are two goals that I have that I will finish those two up. Now the last two items are actually long-term items. I know that they won't be done, you know, these next couple of months. But I brought them in here because I want to make movement on them. And the first one is actually a set. It's a duo. It's my um, concealer wheels from BH Cosmetics. There's light and then there's medium. And I brought them in together because I use them together. But I had not used them for a while. And they were actually dry on top. They were like the gel pod. You know, I had to kind of really rub at it to start to um, get some color off of my you know onto my brush so um i thought i'll show you where i was at when i showed you last month they looked pretty brand new um even though i had used them they looked pretty darn new and this month this one is showing significant dip in it the peaches i thought i would show it more in the lighter shades but that peach i've really um 
have been enjoying using. It has helped with um, those dark circles under my eyes. But the one I thought I would actually make the most progress on is on my medium palette and because I was going to use it as a cream contour and I thought it would be this darkest shade that I would see movement the most movement on and there is movement but I actually have had to combine these two together to uh, make the shade that I want for my cream contour and so it has slowed down the progress some and again this looked pretty new even though I had used it um, so I am thinking my peach is going to be what hits pan first and once I hit pan on any any of these concealer pots it doesn't matter which shade it is once I hit pan then both of these will be rolled out but I just want to get use on them before they dry up and I think you know after playing with it and finding out that it was drying out I think I made the right decision in bringing these into this project it's just going to take a little longer than um, you know I imagined but that's okay except I don't know how deep these pans are if they're as deep as you know the width here we've got a long ways to go but I think that peach is actually what's going to hit pan first and I'm okay with that I'm okay with whatever hits pan first as long as I hit pan on one of them before this December 31st because I really want to hit it before <laughs> way before that my last item I um, compiled some single eyeshadows of mine my single eyeshadows don't get a lot of love because you know I focus more on my palettes um, but I love my single eyeshadows obviously or I wouldn't have purchased them but um, because I'm struggling so much with my palette that I picked to pan this year, I brought in 12 um, single eyeshadows. And I picked them all with thought um, because they'll all go with my palette that I am panning. But they're from different brands. They're not all the same brand, but they're in... A coastal scent palette but these are the shades that I brought in so this all these shades can work you know as a palette on its own or they can work with my you know palette that I'm panning or other eyeshadows I'm panning so that is why I brought it in my goal is to hit pan on any one of these colors and then once I do, all 12 of these will be rolled out. Now the ones I have the most progress on is this one right here. I, I think it's nude by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think. And then this one also has a dip. I've got some movement on this one, and I think that is really the only three that I have any measurable um, kind of movement. My guess is this one right here is what I'll hit pan on first um, just because I can use it to set my you know my primer and you know, it's the color that's most versatile. So maybe I shouldn't have put it in here, but I did. But um, it doesn't matter what shade I hit pan on. Once I hit pan, they're all getting rolled out. And then um, I'll bring in something new to the project. So that is how I am doing to date on my go for the 
goal. Now I need to bring in two more items. And I kind of had a hard time with this one. Um, I have actually three things here because that's how hard, how, how hard it's been for me to make a decision on this. But what I am bringing in is first is this number seven. It's a night cream, but I can't read the writing. It's too small. Hold on. It is Restore and Renew Night Cream. It is this right here. This is how much I have left. There's really no way to measure that or mark it, I should say. Um, I do like it. I, It's not moisturizing enough for me, like most moisturizers, but I do like it. Um, so I would like to use it because it's about, it's a little under half full, I would say. So I think I could use it in a month, maybe. Maybe not maybe a little over a month we will see but that is what i am bringing in to replace one of my two finished items and then the other item i am bringing in is my um it's by la colors again my glasses it is their super strength nail builder I have a whole bunch of these nail strengtheners that are somewhat full, or not somewhat full, but somewhat empty, almost, you know, almost completely used up, but they're not, and I need to use them. So this is where I'm at right here. I don't have a whole lot in here to use, but I would like to use this up and get it out of my collection because like I said I have a ton like this so you guys might continue to see these nail strengtheners in this project until I get all these you know less than half um, bottles out of my collection so that is my go for the goal update number one how do you think I'm doing? Should, should I have not brought in some longer, um, you know, long-term goals to work on? Should I have only done short-term? I don't know how this project works, and so that was kind of what I went with, but I would like your thoughts on, on that. Maybe I should, you know, roll out those long-term products and just do short ones. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. And if you are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave and make sure to hit the notification bell as well so you're advised whenever I upload a video. You guys take good care of yourself. Be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one.